Uh, it's Double Hatter Day at Robin Hood Radio. Good morning, Mr. Pagano. And good morning, dear Mr. Miles. Uh, would you be kind enough to check your email to see if you've got a email from me that says test, 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 test? Let me check right now. Let me oh, check. Oh, this gosh. is just, uh, I'll tell you, folks, between Marshall and myself, we, we have nothing but problems every day, every day, something new. I received it, test, 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 at 645, yes. So I have no idea what's wrong, but... I got a message from one of our clients, one of our big clients, not radio, but uh, uh, industry, uh, saying that they have not received our emails in quite some time. And I'm thinking to myself, well, that email goes out with a whole bunch of other emails all at the same time, every day, in blocks, and no one else is complaining but this guy or this, this firm. You know, so I said, just to make sure, I sent an email to myself, I got it. I sent an email back to Metro, we got it. I sent one to you, you got it. Um, they have, there is something, and I don't know if folks know this, but sometimes if you have, uh, you're not getting an email from someone you expect, your, uh, your email, you have to go into your uh, software and give it permission to accept that email. Or else... Otherwise, or yeah. else, or else, go into spam, and right. look in look in spam, or look in trash. And if you find the email there, then say this is not spam, this is not trash, and right. yeah, right. That's, that's, that's probably that's probably what happened. Who knows? It's been working right along for years. All of a sudden, it doesn't. You know, it's got to be something to do with their servers that changes the whole or got the whole a, thing. or got or got a new computer. Uh, one, right. One other. right, something like that exactly. But in the meantime, we have the same old computer models, and um, fairly doing fairly well. We'll see. Partly sunny today. It gets more humid, 80 to 85. Cloudy tonight. Showers. Chance of a thunderstorm, 70. Hazy with scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, uh, 80 to 85 again. Then it should be sunny and less humid on Friday in the 80s, mid-80s. Saturday, we'll look for some sun about 70, but it looks like a chance of showers on Sunday. So a chance of showers on Sunday. Yeah. If I want to believe the American uh, model, the GFS, I would call for showers Saturday and Sunday. Uh, but I believe they're going to be wrong on Saturday, but they'll probably be they'll probably be right on Sunday. I don't know. So if that's the case. Uh, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll... I'll go up to the lake Saturday and just come back Saturday night uh, rather than, um, you know, wake up to, to rain on the Sunday morning up there. And you're on the lake. It's very damp. Very, very damp. But aside from that, I uh, finished power washing the house yesterday. So I did the whole front of my house and I did all my uh, little brick walls all the way around. That took a couple of hours. And I can't tell you that my back still isn't hurting because it is. Don't let anybody kid you that you know power washing is not um, is not that easy, and uh, it you know you're using you're using muscles a lot of times that you haven't used in other places. So I'm glad that's all done. So I have that all done and and finished, and my projects here at the house are done. How about you? I don't have any projects at the oh, house. You don't. <laughs> My project is just getting up in the morning and going go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm beginning to have those problems too, you know. For, for you people out there that do any kind of baking, um, I found a nice little, a nice little, um, uh, I don't want to call it a gimmick, a nice little uh, uh, thing to keep your spoons and measuring cups, measuring spoons and measuring cups. Uh, just go out and uh, get yourself a, a package of those uh, little command uh, strip hooks, the little wire hooks. And uh, what you do is you open up your um, baking closet, open up the door and put the hooks inside the door with uh, where you can hang your spoons on one side and your cups on the other, your measuring cups on the other side. If your spoons and cups don't have uh, the measuring um, item right on it, then you could just do a piece of tape uh, on top of each side and put what it is. 
uh, but I happen to have spoons and cups that have, um, they're white, and they have the black lettering on the stem, so I could see it. So I have all of that now in my closets, nice and neat, so when I bake, I just have to open the door, and the spoons and the cups, the measuring cups are right there. How about that? Yeah, but don't you find that sooner or later you get lazy and things get all screwed up again? Why is that? I don't know. Well, you don't put things back properly and stuff oh, like that's, that. Oh, uh, that's you're talking to the wrong person. Um, just call me Pat Anal Pagano. Okay, so you don't uh, have that problem. I'm one of those guys. Whenever I use something, like when I bake, it's incredible. Uh, you can walk into my kitchen as I'm baking. You will see all the counters covered. Then just give me about an hour and a half and come back. You won't find a trace of anything. Well, I, I put everything. I clean up after I cook. I don't bake because I hate baking. Baking's too messy. Uh, and I put everything. You know, I wash it and I put it in the side of the sink where it, where it drives. And sometimes I, I, I take the shortcut and I put it. I, I don't walk across the kitchen and put it where it belongs. Oh, well, that's that's just me. That's, that's you. That's you. Yeah. I have to put everything back. And at least once every two months, I go to all the drawers in the kitchen everywhere. And I make and I just straighten them all out and make sure that everything is nice and neat. You know, I wish I could do that, but it's just not built into me. Some people are just not like that, right? And other people like me are nuts. <laughs> right. Well, well, we'll go nuts tomorrow morning again. All right, let's do that, Marshall. Have a good day. You too, Pat. Take care. Bye bye. Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with a check out our tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.